Hello everyone. Uh, in this lab, we are going to talk about how you are able to create a VMFS and a NFS data store in your HVL lab 2410. So first of all, you need to go into the section where you have data stores. So you are going to be uh, exploring your all the DFS uh, and NFS vmfs and uh, nfs data stores that you have so first of all if you want to create a data store you have to right click on the region then go to the storage here you will be having an option to add a new data store so here you are having three options so first of all we are going to go with the vmfs that is virtual machine file system this is created in order to store your virtual machines which you have so click on next so here you can give it a name like if you are using the vmfs data store so you can name it vmfs data store so you can name it like that or you can keep any name which you want you have to select the host with which you want to attach it so you can select one of the host but uh, it will automatically get attached to both of them so once you have selected that you are able to see that there are two iscsi disks that are available so we are going to use the first one that is 45 gb sported flash drive which is uh, usually ssd so we are going to select the first one that is 45 gb and then we click on next so here you need to select the vmfs 6 because that has a space reclamation policy that means that you will be able to reclaim the space if you want which are un if there is any unused uh, virtual machine so you will be able to reclaim that space then you are going to select the configuration so if there is any partic particular uh, like uh, size which you want to give for your data store so you can select that space rec uh, reclamation is uh, right now it is selected at 1 MB so you can have the low priority or you can't set up like if you want uh, if you don't want to do that uh, priority so you can select none here so we are going to keep it on default so that things are uh, quite simple so then we click on next so here it is going to use the gpt partitioning format and it will be automatically um, reclaim the space that is uh, deleted or if there are any unmapped blocks inside that uh, space so it will automatically reclaim it and make it the part of your actual storage so now we just click on finish and you will be able to see that we are having a new data store which is going to appear very soon so here it is vmfs data store if you go here and you click on uh, summary you will be able to see this is a vmfs 6 so that is available so right now we are having the files host and vms that are not there there is no vm so if we want to shift a vm to this place we can simply choose the vm like uh, tiny linux is the vm i am going to migrate this and here while we are migrating we are only going to change the storage so it it means we are going to check that whether the storage is actually working so we are going to select the storage here this is the new vm fs data store that we have so we click on that click next so it is going to shift the virtual machine to the new vmfs data store so in order to verify this we can go to the same place and click on the vmfs data store and here you are able to see the new vm that is just shifted from the actual uh, uh, data store that is uh, ds iscsi 01 and it is just relocated we can verify this thing in the recent task tab as well so that is how it is visible so now uh, this is your vmfs data store which we have created and we have also migrated a virtual machine from our existing iscsi uh, data store to the new vmfs data store so that was uh, how to create a vmfs data store now let us move on to uh, the creation of our nfs data store so now uh, here we are going to click on the storage so if we click on storage we are going to click on the same procedure that was there for vmfs so we are going to click on nfs this time and click next here we are going to choose the version so if we are going to use the advanced version that is 4.1 we will need to have a kerberos enabled now this Kerberos is a key distribution mechanism that is used to share the keys in order to create 
more secure pathway between your data stores and your virtual machines that are there. So currently that Kerberos authentication protocol is not uh, configured on your actual lab. So we are going to use the NFS 3.0 for this. Then uh, simply click on next. So here you can give the name by whatever name you want to give. Like if I want NFS data store as a name, so I will just select that. Then I have to select the folder, that folder where you want to mount it, it is slash mnt slash nfs02. So we are going to select it as a data store. So please make sure you are selecting the correct folder and the correct IP address for the server. So it is 10.10.20.60. So this is our uh, NAS server that we have. So we have to select that and then click on next. So here we are going to select both the hosts and we will click next. So it is going to create the new NFS data store. So we are able to see the data store at this place. So right now in this, we are having both the hosts with which it is connected. We are also having VMFS that is out there. So we are also having uh, the files that are possible at this place. So we are having the NFS data store with which we are able to like see that which files are there. If we want to upload any file, we can select on the upload file. So here, if there is any picture, for example, there is a screenshot. So you can simply select that. It will be automatically 